Today is December 20th, and as usual, I'll be taking a look at the new items on Halo Infinite Store and determining whether or not they're worth your money. So how's it going, Magpies? I'm Magpie Leon, and let's jump straight in. So on the shop today, we have one new item, just like we have all week, and it's still just as disappointing. Uh, and this bundle is the Reach Falcon Pilot Pack. Now, we have seen this bundle before, and I have covered it before. However, not everyone that's watching this video today has seen that video, so I'm going to cover it again anyway, regardless. In this bundle, you get seven items. You get the Falcon nameplate and emblems for your armor, weapon, and vehicles. You also get the Tragic Wintessa armor coating, which is a pretty nice armor coating. I do like this being this, this faded green and yellow colour. It's one of the better Reach ones. And you also get two shoulder pads, obviously being from Reach. I think for 700 credits, this isn't an awful bundle. However, its issues are the fact that you get items for the Reach armor core, which you can only get in the Battle Pass. So when you think about it, this 700 credits is then taken up to 1,700 because you have to have the Battle Pass to be able to use the, the sort of the main selling points of this bundle being the armor coating and the shoulder pads. These items should be included in the Battle Pass. And the only item that can be used on anything is the nameplate, which I'll be honest, isn't that great. It's a decent enough nameplate, but it isn't really a standout one. It doesn't really look like a really cool emblem or anything. Like, it's nice, it's a nice little piece of artwork, but it's it's nothing that stands out too much, in my opinion. And obviously, the main selling point, again, is the shoulder pads and coating, but unless you've got the battle pass, there's no point buying this bundle. I also feel that 700 might just be a little bit too much. Uh, bundles like this usually cost 500 credits. You've seen the ones for the Mark 7, where you get one coating that is a rare armor coating as well as two rare shoulder pads and then some other item whether that be a helmet attachment or a utility piece they tend to cost 500 but this one costs 700 I, I really don't know why I think this is a decent enough bundle and if you have the credits and already have the battle pass then it's worth it but the fact that you need the battle pass to be able to use these items is why it's disappointing quite frankly I think unless these items are cross core uh, they should have been included in the battle pass they, they should have been on there it's that simple uh, but yeah, the store again has been a little bit disappointing, however, we get the new rotation soon, which I'm pretty excited for, as well as the Christmas event. But yeah, that's all from me today, folks. I've said everything I want to say about the store. I won't be covering the Hazard Palmer set, the Mudhog Wild set, or the Honorbound Weapon set, as I covered all three of those in my first video of the rotation. So if you want to hear my thoughts on them, go check that out. I'll leave a link on your screen now. But yeah, that's everything I want to say today. If you have enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like. And if you are new here, do consider subscribing. I'm aiming for a thousand subs by the end of 2022. And I know that's a while away. However, I think we can get there. But yeah, that's all from me. And I will catch you in the next one.